doing lesson 101 percent markups. Even though these are going to be word problems, they're really easy word problems because we're going to just use this formula. Selling price equals purchase price plus the markup. So we're just going to read through the, the problems and see what the selling price is, what the purchase price, and what the markup is. And one of these will be missing and we'll have to find it. So let's read example one. The selling price was $48. If the markup was 20% of the purchase price, what was the markup? So it tells us right here that the selling price was $48. So where it says selling price, we just put 48. <coughs> we need the purchase price, but it doesn't tell us the purchase price. So that'll be our variable, P sub P. And our markup. There's a stink bug. There's a stink bug in our room, and it's making the video crazy. Percent of the purchase price. Purchase price is what we don't know, so we don't know 20% of the purchase price. So the markup is 20% of the purchase price. We don't know the purchase price, so we figure out the market up. It's 20% of the purchase price. Now we have one variable and one equation. We just have to solve it, so we get 48. There's a 1 there. Just keep that in mind. So that would be 1.20 of the purchase price. Divide both sides by 1.20. And we get the purchase price is, if we divide, we would get $40. But the question, if you go back up here, what was the markup? So the selling price was 48. If the original price was 40, the markup would be $8. So make sure you get what they're asking for. Let's look at the second one. It's really dark here. The purchase price of the item was $1,800. If the markup was 40% of the selling price, what was the selling price? So now we're looking for something different. Okay, so now we use the same formula that we started with. We don't know the selling price this time. So we call that the selling price. We don't know it. The purchase price is the second thing in the formula is $1,800. And the markup this time is 40% of the selling price. And then we just subtract 0.4 from both sides. And we get 0.6. This would be 1. 1 minus 0.4 will be 0.6 of the selling price equals 1,800. Divide both sides by 0.6. And you get the selling price equals $3,000. And that's what they're asking for. What was the selling price? And we got that the first time. Very easy. Just use the formula. Third example. Final example. The sports car retailed. And that's the retail price is actually the selling price. The car was selling for $10,368. What was the purchase price? So here we need the P sub P. If the car had been marked up 8% of the purchase price. So this is the same as the first problem, except they said retail. So that's the selling price. So we get 10,368 equals the purchase price plus 8% of the purchase price. It's 0.08 of the purchase price. And we're going to do the same thing. 10,368 equals 1.08 purchase price. Divide both sides by 1.08. And we're going to get the purchase price is $9,600 and what did they ask? What was the purchase price? And so we got the purchase price and we're done. That's it. Okay.